ओम शांति दिस इज द साकार मुरली ऑफ फाइव ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन बिकम स्पिरिचुअल टीचर्स द सेम एज द फादर टीच अदर्स वट यू हैव लर्न फ्रॉम द फादर इफ यू हैव इम्बाइव दिस नॉलेज यू कैन ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन इट टू एनी वन question in which aspect does baba have unshakable faith and in which you children also have to become unshakable answer baba has unshakable faith in the drama baba says whatever has passed was in the drama you will do whatever you did in the previous cycle the drama will not allow you to change anything However, as yet the children's stage has not become like that. This is why they say, "If it were like this, I would do that. If I had known about it, I would not have done it. Done that." Baba says, "Do not remember the past. Make effort not to make the same mistake again in the future." Answer: The spiritual father sits here and explains to you, children. the father himself says no one knows when i come because i am incognito no one can tell when a soul enters a womb there cannot be a time or date for that the time and date are given for the moment it comes out of the womb similarly you cannot tell the time or date when baba entered you can't tell when he entered the chariot when baba used to look at someone they would become intoxicated and be lost in that stage they would think that there was someone who had entered or that there was some power that had come where did the power come from i didn't do any special chanting or tapasya that is called incognito there is no time or date you cannot say when the subtle region was established the main thing is man mana bhav The father says, "O oh souls, you call out to me, your father, to come and make you impure beings pure, pure from, and make you impure beings pure, and to make the world pure." The father explains, according to the drama plan, there definitely has to be a change when I come. Whatever has happened from the golden age onwards will repeat. the golden and silver ages will definitely repeat at every second that passes the era also continues to pass by they say that the golden age passed but they didn't see it the father has explained that you passed through that age you are the ones who became separated from me first so you should think about how you have taken 84 births and how you will have to take them again identically that is how you will have to play your parts of happiness and sorrow in the golden age there is happiness when a building grows old the roof sometimes falls in sometimes something happens somewhere else in the building so there is then the concern to repair it when it has become very old it is understood that the build that that building is no longer fit to live in you would not say this about the new world you are now becoming worthy of going to the new world everything is at first new and it then becomes old you children now think about this no one else can even understand these things they continue to relate the gita and the ramayana etc and remain busy in doing that You and I were also busy doing that business. The father has now made you so sensible. Baba said, "Children, this old world is now to end. You now have to go to the new world. It isn't that everyone will go there. It is not the law either that everyone can sit in the land of liberation because otherwise annihilation would take place." You know that this is the most auspicious beneficial confluence age of the old world and the new world change now has to take place and you will then go to the land of peace there is no question of even 
having any feeling of happiness there it is remembered that there were obstacles in the sacrificial fire and so there will continue to be obstacles there will also be obstacles after a cycle you have now become strong those tasks of establishment and destruction are not a small thing in what do you have obstacles the father says lust is the greatest enemy it is because of this that there are assaults there is the example of draupadi all the conflict is because of celibacy you definitely had to become tamo pradhan from sato pradhan you had to come down the ladder and the world definitely had to become old only you understand and churn all of these things you have to study and also teach others you have to become teachers it is definitely because you have this knowledge in your intellects did you study and then become teachers then the government passes those who study with the teacher and become clever the father has made you into teachers what could the one teacher do all of you are spiritual teachers so you should have this knowledge in your intellects the knowledge of becoming a deity from a human being is very accurate the more you remember the father now the more light you will continue to receive people will continue to have visions only by having remembrance will you souls become pure and it will then be possible for others to have a vision the father the helper is also here the all the father always helps the children it is number wise in a study each one of you can understand how much knowledge your intellect has imbibed if you have imbibed knowledge then demonstrate it by explaining to someone this is wealth and if you don't give others this wealth no one would believe that you have any wealth if you donate wealth you will be called a great donor maharathis and mahabees are the same not all can be the same so many people come to you would you sit and beat your head with each one those people hear about many things from the newspapers and so they get heated then when they come to you and hear knowledge from you they realize what they have done by following the dictates of others and that this knowledge is very good it takes time to be put each one right here to it has taken so much effort nevertheless there are some who are maharathis brackets elephant riders some others who are foot soldiers these are their parts in the drama you understand that eventually you will win you will become whatever you became in the previous cycle you children have to make effort the father advises you try to explain first of all go to sip baba's temple and do service there you can ask who is this why do you pour water on that idol you know this very well there is a saying that a cook went to warrow some burning charcoal and stayed there and became the master brackets of the kitchen this example refers to you you go there to awaken them they send you invitations and so when you receive such an invitation you should be happy big titles are given in the kasi etc there are so many temples on the path of devotion that is also a type of business when they find a good woman they make her learn the gita by heart and put her forward and then they take the income she receives otherwise they would have nothing many people learn occult powers you should go to such places you children should never try to interpret the meaning of the scriptures you have to go and give the father's introduction the the bestower of liberation and liberation in life is only one you have to praise him he says consider yourselves to be souls and remember me alone however man mana bhav doesn't mean that you have to go and bathe in the ganges mamekam means remember me alone 
I promise you that I will liberate you from all your sins. Sin began at the time Ravan came. So you have to make a lot of effort to claim a high status. People beat their heads so much day and night to earn a position. This too is a study. There is no question of having any works here. You have the cycle of 84 births in your intellects. This is not a difficult thing. You are not told the details of every birth. Your 84 births have ended and you souls now have to return home. Souls that have become impure definitely have to be made pure again. Continue to tell everyone to remember the one father constantly. Children say, Baba, I am unable to stay in yoga. Oh, but I am personally telling you to remember me. And so why do you speak of yoga? It is because you speak of yoga that you forget me. Who would not be able to remember their father? How do you remember your physical parents? That one is also your mother and father. This one is also studying. Saraswati too is studying. Only the one father is teaching everyone. To the extent that you study, accordingly you can then explain to others. The father said, children, you cannot attain me by reading these scriptures or by chanting or doing tapasya. What benefit is there in that? You still continue to come down the ladder. You don't have any enemies. Nevertheless, you still definitely have to explain how sin and charity are accumulated. It was after the kingdom of Ravan began that you started to commit sin. There are even such children who are unable to explain what the new world is and what the old world is. The father now says, remember the unlimited father. He alone is the purifier. You don't need to go anywhere. On the path of devotion, you would always go out of your home to worship elsewhere. The husband would tell his wife, you have a picture of Krishna at home too. So why are you going out there? What is the difference there? The husband was said to be her God and yet she wouldn't even listen to him. On the path of devotion, they built temples very far away and high up so that people have that faith in them. You explain how people stumble along so much doing, going to the temples. That is just a system they have created. They go to Seva Kasi on pilgrimage, but there is no attainment in doing that. You now receive Srimad from the Father. You don't have to go anywhere. In fact, God, the husband of all husbands, is only the one. The one whom your husband, maternal and paternal uncles, remember is God. The husband of all and God, the father of all. He says to you, constantly remember me alone and your sins will be absolved. The light of each of you is now being ignited. And so people are able to see light in you. So the names of you children should also be glorified. The father glorifies the names of the children. Daughter Sudesh is very clever at explaining. She has made a lot of effort and has thereby gone ahead of the older ones. She can make more effort in this to and go ahead of others. Everything depends on effort. One shouldn't have heart failure. Even if you come at the end, you can still attain liberation and life in a second. Day by day, many such ones will continue to emerge. You have a part of victory fixed for you in the drama. There will also be obstacles. There aren't obstacles like this in any other spiritual gatherings. Here, there is upheaval because of the vices. It is remembered, why should we renounce nectar and drink poison? The one deity religion is being established through this knowledge. The kingdom of Ravan cannot exist in the golden age. The explanation is so clear. They have sown the kingdom of Ravan next to the kingdom of Rama. You also saw the time period. This is the confluence age. The world is now changing. It is the one father who inspires establishment. 
sustenance and destruction. This is very easy. But when they don't imbibe it completely, they remember everything else and they forget this knowledge and yoga. You are the children of God, the highest on high. Day by day you are becoming solvent. You receive wealth. The expenses are also paid for. Baba says the pot will continue to become full. You will incur expense as you did in the previous cycle. The drama will not allow you to spend any more or less. Baba has unshakable faith in the drama. Whatever has passed was in the drama. You shouldn't say if it had been like this. I wouldn't have done that. That stage has not yet been developed. One thing or another continues to emerge through your lips. You then feel it. Baba says, do not think about the past. Make effort in future not to make such mistakes again. This is why Baba says, write your chart. There is a lot of benefit in that. Baba saw a person who was writing his whole life story because he thought his children would learn from it. Here, there is benefit in following Srimad. There cannot be falsehood here. There is the example of Narad. There is a lot of benefit in keeping a chart. Baba gives you orders and so your children should follow those orders. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna number one, imbibe this knowledge and explain it to others. Donate the wealth of knowledge and become a great donor. Do not debate the scriptures with anyone, but give the father's true introduction. Second, you mustn't think about things of the past. Make such effort that you do not make any mistakes again. Keep an honest chart. Blessing. May you experience a high stage with yoga and become a double light angel. Because you Raj Yogi children experience a high stage in yoga, Hatha Yogis elevate their bodies. Wherever you stay, you stay in a high stage. And so they say that yogis stay in a high place. The place of your minds stays is high because you have become double light. It is said angels do not set their feet on the ground. An angel is one whose feet of the intellect are not on the ground and who is not body conscious. Angels have no attachment to the old world. Slogan, now fill your account with blessings and everyone will continue to receive blessings from your non-living images for many births. Om Shanti With avyakt silence, experience the double light angelic stays. In order to experience the angelic stays, stop coming into sound in a moment. Stop discussing something or staying in any type of atmosphere. Stop all thoughts in a second. Go beyond sound and stabilize yourself in your detached angelic stays. One moment, be a karma yogi. One moment, be an angel. That is experience. Avic the silence and stay beyond sound. This practice will make you victorious in your last paper. Om Shanti